Kia ora whanau. This is my Insight Monday, except today's Thursday. That's the theme that's running this week. And um, we met with um, Indigenous artist and creator Dalveen Cockatoo Collins on Sunday. Man, she was awesome. What I loved about Dalveen is one, she's an artist, so I can relate to her court at all. But two, she's an Indigenous artist, which was stunning because what she shared with us was how precious and priceless the kōrero is, the stories are of her people and of her family and I need to share what is relevant to people outside and keep those things that are sacred within the family um, and within the culture. She talked about using images and only running um, limited editions of those images, you know, not doing them in bulk because of the sacred nature of, of her images and the stories that are connected and the elders that are present and that helped with that process. Another aspect that she shared with us, which I really was, which I found extremely valuable was, within her pricing she includes an elder, an elder costing. And so that's where she goes and she looks for advice from her aunties and from her elders within her family circle, within her traditional circle. And she puts a cost within her work that accounts to being able to give back to her elders and, and sharing uh, their knowledge with her. And I thought that is so valuable in being able to give back. You know, so often we can not do that for our komatuas and our kuya and, and take the knowledge that we have for granted, especially in this day and age. Koha comes in so many different forms today and koha is money. You know, we can use that system as a payment of koha also to our to our people, especially to our komatu and kuya. So I thought that was a beautiful aspect and seeing our indigenous Australians here using those um, contemporary forms to to be able to take care of, of their generations, past, present and future. So that was Delving Cockatoo Collins. You can look her up online. Her work is beautiful. She does hand printed uh, stencils and screen printed clothing and homewares and just very simple and that's what I loved about her she talked about herself being a introvert so many of our entrepreneurs are and um, and how tiring it can be just to be with people and although I am an extroverted type of energy I do have family that are introverts and I understand that um, my my energy can be quite overwhelming sometimes and and just to be with people they need time to be uh, to re, you know go back inside and go find some solace to to recoup so even as an artist I know that she would need that as well we're going to go visit her this Friday down at the Esplanade at Win, Wynnum and um, I'm looking forward to connecting with her and building relationships here with our indigenous artists in Brisbane so that is my insight today regarding this is my last insight monday except on thursday um, because this is my last week with kahal this week we are all racing to get our launches done and being able to uh, get our businesses up that's why we joined kahal iteao go out and capture the world and um, being able to develop an e-commerce business helping indigenous people uh, increase their family income so this is where it comes down to it you know thank you fun I just want to say thank you so much for your support over the last 10 weeks listening to me swiping past me whatever it is thank you so much love you guys see you later Kakite.